This SLK Vario roof doesn't work anymore. The cause can be a defective hydraulic cylinder in the hydraulic system. With the hydraulic pressure test with star diagnosis, you can find the fault in the system. Push the front seats all the way forward and fold the seat back forward too. First remove the stowage compartment. Begin with the cover for the loudspeaker. Now the side trim is next. Undo two screws in the trim. In the upper trim, open the clip. Then carefully take off the trim. And if there is one, separate the plug connection and the cable harness of the loudspeaker. The trim around the roll bar goes too. The fixtures for the draft stop can stay for this job. Next, fold the back wall trim forward. One more tip. Fix the spaces with tape so as to maintain the correct roof gap measure. Only then should you unscrew the cover from the crossbeam. Now undo both upper connection points for the hydraulic motor. Afterwards, take the hydraulic motor from the beam. Now go to Star Diagnosis. In the body menu, click on Vario Roof. Choose Test Steps of the Hydraulics and start the hydraulic test. Follow the safety instructions. Now using a self-test, the system checks whether the test conditions and the actual values required are OK. Then the hydraulic pressure test starts. And now you're asked for the valve block. You'll find all tools necessary in the program SLK Part 1, test of the hydraulic system of the Vario roof. Now go back into the vehicle with absorbent paper, or even better, a fluid container, because oil can run out during the process. Now you require the valve block and the pressure testing set, and you can get started. First, take off the hydraulic motor's connection plate near the hydraulic line number 53. Take the hydraulic line number 53 from the motor and put this in the only available space in the adapter. The manometer is also connected to this. Undo the connection plate of the valve block too and take off the cap. Then close the line from the adapter to the valve block. You get the other connections from the VIS document on screen. Afterwards, go back to Star Diagnosis and carry out a test run. In the test, check the pump pressure by holding the F3 button for 5 seconds. This way you can check that all connections have no hydraulic leaks. When no leaks appear, then take the manometer and start the test, or position the manometer in such a way that you can read the test values. A requirement for the test is a minimum pressure of 140 bar. In the first test run, the complete hydraulic motor is checked. Enter the measured value into star diagnosis. With a measured value of 150 bar, the hydraulic motor is OK. Now during the hydraulic test, the individual cylinders are checked one by one. Beginning with number 12, the front roof closing cylinder. The second is number 42, the tubular frame cylinder right. Number 53, the tubular frame cylinder left. As well as the numbers 20 and 22, both main roof head cylinders right. And lastly, the numbers 31 and 33, both main roof cylinders left. Be sure to complete the pump pressure test. That means always test all cylinders. 
Now you just need to check the oil level and reinstall the parts. We'll show you how to do this in another program, SLK Part 3, Test of the Hydraulic System of the Vario Roof.